darlings, for today's video, I'm transforming myself into Pennywise from Stephen King's It. To start, I'm painting my face white. This is the water-activated paint from the Mayron Paradise AQ Basic Palette. I'm using a dense sponge to pat this on and working as quickly as possible because it dries relatively fast. Once that's opaque, I'm setting it in place with the Color Set Translucent Powder by Mayron. Since I've set the paint with powder, I can start to use other powder products on top. I'm contouring with the Makeup Revolution Pro HD Powder Contour Palette. I'm using the Cool Toned Brown shade and applying this to the hollows of my cheeks and along my jawline. I'm defining the contour on my cheeks by stamping some of the paint that's left over on my sponge right along the bottom edge of that to get a sharp line. Next, I'm applying a little bit of the red blush from the Beauty Bakery Queen of Tarts face palette. And then I'm going back to the Makeup Revolution contour palette and highlighting with the white pearl shade. I'm applying this to the highest points of my face, such as my cheekbones, bridge of nose, and cupid's bow. Now I'm working on the brows. In the first adaptation, Pennywise has super dark brows. And in the second one, he has very angular indentions. So I'm basically combining the two by filling in my brows with the Benefit Palmade Brow Palmade in the shade 3.5 so that they're pretty dark and creating an angular flick upwards at the front of the brow. I'm also setting the hairs in place with the 24 hour brow setter. Moving on to the eyes, I'm priming with the P. Louise base in 0.5 and dipping into the Morphe 35C palette. I'm starting with the lightest gray shade and buffing that into the crease. I'm also extending this towards the nose and sweeping it down the sides of the nose so that it all connects and looks contoured. Next, I'm picking up the medium gray shadow from the palette and adding that to the crease to darken the look even more. Now that we have our transition shadow down, I'm picking up the black shade from the palette and applying this all over the lid. I'm blending this with the shadow in the crease using the same fluffy brush we've been using to apply the gray shadows. Next, I'm applying the black shadow to the bottom lash line and buffing it out with the gray shadow for a super smoked out look. Now, I'm adding a few more highlights on the brow bone and inner corner of the eye. After that, I'm dipping back into the Mayron Paradise AQ Basic Palette and using the red paint to draw on the clown nose and smile. I'm just painting the entire bottom part of my nose so that the tip and nostrils are completely red. For the smile, I'm starting with the lines going from my forehead, across my brows, down my eyelids, and connecting that to the corners of my mouth.
For the red lip, I'm using the Nova Beauty Lip Liner in the shade Red 01, and then I'm applying the lipstick in the shade Flare. Next, I'm spraying on the Cryolon Fixing Spray. This stuff is like glue. It really keeps everything in place. For lashes, I'm applying the Makeup Revolution 5D Lash Extra Dimension Mascara, and then I'm popping on the Kiss Lash Couture Triple Push-Up Collection Lashes in Bombshell. I'm using the KVD Beauty Cake Pencil in my waterlines to make them extra black. And for the bottom lashes, I'm using a combination of the Makeup Revolution 5D Lash Mascara, as well as the Mascara Revolution for extra volume. Finally, to get into character, I'm putting on the Fashion Nova Let's Play a Game costume, Miss Queen Wig, and TTDI Soul Reaping Contact Lenses. And that completes this Pennywise look. Let me know your favorite Stephen King movie in the comments below, and please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. See you next time.